when do you use aluminum bronze? We use it in the AC mode to um, weld cast iron or any sort of casting and um, it provides a it provides a weld with like almost 50,000 psi tensile strength which um, is sufficient for most castings it matches the tensile strength of the parent material. We're gonna be brazing with an aluminum bronze and the TIG machine in AC and you can tell me I'm nuts but whatever the whatever makes cast iron is like this is a bell house of a Logan clutch hydraulic clutch and we broke a piece out of here and now we'll we'll brace it back in there. Excellent. And we spark tested it and we came to the conclusion it's a dirty casting. Mm. Chances of success, slim or none. So whatever gets this thing fixed, that's the right way to fix it. Yeah. At least in my book. Alright. So what we will do is clean this up, V-groove, chamfer this out, okay. set this all in there. Now if I was gonna do this repair for a customer, I would probably to weld it as cold as possible just taking quarter of an inch here at a time and there and there and try to like keep this all cool and take a lot of breaks in between. Okay. Um, since we want to put a little bit of a show on here, Lance requested that we break up my million BTU heating torch and get this fucker cherry red glowing. I understand it's gonna be epic. Epic. <laughs> epic <laughs> nevertheless. Uh, okay. Usually that torch we break out on big castings several inches thick where the entire casting gets heated up and then you do this all hot and then you wrap it in a blanket in case in case like this you wrap it in a blanket if it's something else with no mechanical parts in you can dump it in a sandbox and um, so that's what we're gonna do a little bit grinding make it fit clean it up and then, and we're then gonna uh, preheat it, it all and right. see what happens excellent we will be using our good old HTP Invertic 201 that's the model previous to the 221 we're gonna run AC we're gonna run it, we gotta set the amperature 200, regulate it with a foot pedal as much as needed. And um, although on brazing you're really only supposed to melt the filler metal and kind of push it along this joint, figuring how hot this is gonna be with the preheat and everything, we will be melting the parent metal and uh, we will go about against any rule that you ever heard of how to fix this. Okay, sounds awesome. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. All right, cool. Cool. Almost. Almost. What can you say about this epic torch? This torch here. This torch here. <laughs> oh god! It's fed off of propane and shop air. Okay. It's uh, one million BTU running off of propane, and uh, it's hot. It shoots flames. It's like the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Alright, let's get started. Excellent! Wow! <laughs> 
A little bit hot. Mm -hmm. So that's it in a nutshell. Not Bottom bad. line, if this is a real job, if you do this for a real customer and you want to do this right, um, you want to weld up here the remaining holes. Okay. You want to make sure this ridge here is absolutely in line. Have the machine shop redrill the holes. And then what you want to do at this point, possibly depending on the size of the casting, break out that torch, heat everything really good for another 20 minutes, then wrap it or bury it in sand. Mm -hmm and let it cool slow so you don't get stress cracking when it cools. Okay. But that's basically that's basically one way how this can work. Not bad. Not and bad it's really enough. inexpensive. A pound of aluminum uh, bronze filler is like 20 some dollars and a pound of nickel 99 is like 125. Jeez. So All right. So okay. this is something you do a fair amount of. Um, I use this stuff, this uh, aluminum bronze on some uh, water pump housings, castings, mm -hmm. on like dump trucks and loaders. Okay. Um, sometimes I use it on like a transmission or clutch bell housing. Mm -hmm. um, it, it all depends. It, it is, castings is kind of like the... Whatever makes it work. Yeah. You know, it's like the... the the ends justify the means. Whatever you need to do to get the job done. Is what it takes. It's what it takes All to right. get this done. And every casting is different. And your chance of success welding castings, mm -hmm. uh, you never have 10 out of 10 that work out. Yeah. You know? So it's kind of like a little bit luck too. You spark test, you drill test, see what, how the chips come out. And, and then you take your best guess and your best shot and it all depends on what it is and mm -hmm. and this if this was an actual clutch with the clutch in it the hydraulic actuator obviously we cannot heat it like this unless yeah. you strip the entire casting mm -hmm. and um, that's why if you weld it cold you don't have to strip it you know you need to see if if it's feasible too it's there's so many different things you have to watch out for when you do this so it's not a cut and dry like this is the way how it should be done all yeah. the time this is just one way that works on this specific casting. Excellent. Cool. Uh, will you walk us through the settings on this nice and vertig? Just some general parameters for anyone that maybe sure. wants to try this out. We have the uh, the maximum amps is set at 200. Okay. The foot pedal will vary as much amps as we're going to put in. Then we have it in AC mode. We don't have any pulse. Okay. We have um, our balance set at 70. Okay. At the frequency at 200, what that does is 70 will give you a little bit cleaning action, but it will give you more heat into the casting. Okay. And 200 focuses the arc really nice and narrow, where you know 50 hertz is a wide arc, mm -hmm. 120 is more narrow, 200 is really narrow, where you just heat up in the crease where you're welding. Okay. Excellent. All right. Very very nice. A big thanks for the demonstration. And uh, well. If anyone would like to watch the making of this video, I'll put a link to that over on Pete's channel. Anything else anybody wants to add in? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. All right.
That was awesome, and I really enjoyed watching it. So, as always, YouTube, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Yeehaw.